If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. Before you can use the payroll features of QuickBooks, you must set up payroll for your company in QuickBooks. To find out how to do this, select Employees, Payroll, Turn on Payroll in QuickBooks from the menu bar. In the window that appears, you can evaluate the payroll plans and purchase a payroll plan through QuickBooks to begin the setup of your initial payroll data. After you have purchased a payroll plan, you can set up basic payroll information by selecting Employees, Payroll Setup from the menu bar. Use the QuickBooks Payroll Setup Wizard to input the information that QuickBooks will need to know to begin processing payroll for your company file. QuickBooks uses tax tables that come with your payroll subscription to calculate employee payroll. QuickBooks calculates each employee's gross pay, taxes, deductions, and net pay. In QuickBooks, you can write the paycheck, record the transactions for the correct amounts, print payroll forms, and keep track of your tax liabilities. As an employer, you must subtract taxes and other deductions before issuing employee paychecks. Some typical paycheck deductions are federal and state withholding taxes, or income taxes, social security taxes, or FICA, Medicare taxes, and state unemployment insurance. You may also deduct for benefits like a 401k plan or contributions to your company's medical or dental plan. When you withhold Social Security, Medicare, and federal withholding taxes from employee paychecks, you must submit regular deposits of the withheld money and file quarterly forms that list the amounts withheld from each employee's paycheck. Let's review the payroll process and the steps you must complete to do payroll in QuickBooks. First, you must enter information about your company. This includes information about your federal and state tax ID numbers. This information is usually entered when you set up your QuickBooks company. To view your company information, however, you can select Company, My Company, from the menu bar. You also need to enter information about your employees. The QuickBooks Employees list stores general information about employees, as well as specific information related to payroll, like the employee's salary or hourly rate, filing status, number of exemptions and miscellaneous additions, deductions, and company contributions. You can store information that most employees have in common in employee defaults. Then, whenever you have a new employee to add, you simply enter information that's specific or unique to that employee, like their name, address, and so on. You'll also need to enter information about your payroll items. QuickBooks maintains a payroll item list that contains items that affect the amounts on a paycheck, including company payroll expenses. When you specify you want to use payroll, QuickBooks creates most payroll items for you, but you can add others if needed. In addition, you'll also need your tax tables for federal, state, and local withholdings. QuickBooks uses tax tables for its payroll calculations. You get the current tax tables and keep them current when you subscribe to one of the QuickBooks payroll plans. If you choose not to subscribe to one of these plans, you must calculate and enter payroll tax deductions manually for each paycheck. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.